Hello guys, welcome to Sky L Modeling Part 4. Now this one's gonna be fast and that's because at the moment there's some family issues and I don't want to talk about it because it's like really really private. I just want this tutorial just to get done really fast so people like can just chill out and hopefully get on with it. So um, what I've done is I've deleted the uh, extrusions that we did in part 3 because we need to add in the detail to uh, do these screws. Just one minute, that looks. Uh, so we're going to get started doing that. Now I'm actually going to do a boolean. Uh, I don't normally like doing booleans but I didn't do it before but I can't figure out how I did it last time. And I've tried so many times I just can't do how I did it. I uh, just had one more go doing the booleans and it turned out pretty fine. So, what we're going to do is if you do go to. Oops, one minute. If you do go to create cylinder, you see, it does it like this and that's nice. So, if you wasn't doing that, so let me just end it. What you can do is you can click the object that we're going to do it on, go to modify make live then you know go to create polygon primitive cylinder and you can drag it onto the shape like that so if you've done that go to poly cylinder and give subdivision axis 8 and the rest is ok now you can't select the other object yet so go back to modify and make not live so now we want to scale this down and we want it about if the radius was let's say a 1 oops I made it live again no if the radius was 1 we want the scale to be 0 0.1 let's do 0 0.13 Okay, like that. Now I'm just gonna scale it out just a little bit. I'm gonna scale it out a lot actually because then I can delete the back faces. So what I've done is I'd, I'd, I've added in an edge loop down here, and one down here. I want to cross top. I want to cross bottom as well. Now you can see this is pasted and that's because I was looking at my other model trying to figure out how I did it and I can't I don't get why but I've got bad memory so so go to mesh booleans and difference so you want to select the rail first and then what we're going to be using to make a hole with so a cylinder and go to difference and there you go so now I'm going to delete these faces and I'm going to click off these and just delete now we're going to go to merge vertex tool which is also in edit mesh uh, merge vertex tool and we're going to merge these like this and then we're going to go to insert edge loop and insert one here one down here then to split polygon tool Oops. and do a split from here to here and same down here now again insert edge loop across here and then back to split polygon tool right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in two more edge loops one across here and here and that's because we didn't have quadded geometry across these areas and you do need quads when it comes to high poly modeling or, or you'll get some weird 
deformation. So I'm just splitting these like this. So that's looking fine now. Actually, this has turned out better than my other one. So I'm just going to check. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these faces here. Grab these faces here. I'm going to deselect ones there. Uh, I'm going to go to my side view and deselect them. I'll extrude. I'll pull them out a bit. I'll just give them a scale down. Hopefully this turns out alright. Push them back in just a little bit. Now I'm just going to tighten up the edges just a little bit. So I can see what it looks like. I'm going to tighten up these edges as well. So alright, that looks fine for now. And I'll end it here. Even though it's only been 6 minutes. And in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can tighten up this area. And also, how we can fix some of these places here. Okay, so I'll just undo that and we'll carry on in the next tutorial. So that was just getting in the circle built in. And you know what you can do is you can select these faces and just duplicate them over here. So I'll do that now before we end. So I've selected these faces and now I'm going to go to duplicate face. I'm going to go to center pivot and I'm going to reselect it. Okay. Then I'm going to drag it to here. And I'm going to try to fit it there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap these vertices here, these ones here, and I can delete these faces. And you got to also deselect the ones in the middle. So you've got this. Now you want to merge them or combine. Snap the vertices. Right, okay, so we don't really need this and this yet, so we can delete these. We need the middle one, so I'm going to insert an edge loop here, and one down, oops, one down here. Then I'll go to Split Polygon Tool, oops, I'll go to Merge Vertex Tool. Merge these and merge the top ones. 